Hello friends, welcome back to Go Tutorials. Now we are seeing the tutorials about the concurrency concepts of Go. So far we have seen lot more about Go routines, channels and all, right? So now we are going to see a new concept called weight groups. So weight groups are nothing but some special mechanism in Go language to keep on a collection of Go routines to finish. So in other words, what we can say is the entire control of the flow is blocked for the go routines to complete. If once the go routines are completed, then the main go routine will continue its work. So in order to maintain a collection of go routines, collection of go routines to complete their work. So what will happen? Weight groups will wait until a collection of go routines completes their work so what will happen what will happen weight groups will block the main routine from execution until until all the go routines finishes their work so this is very much important so that we will have n number of go routines created in our application so we may want to wait our application to complete all the n number of go routines so once they are done it will be executed exited back so this is how a simple wait group is that so we will create a group for every go routine the group will wait until they complete if once the go group completes its work the go routine will allow main to go further so this is what we are going to see in the next session that is the forthcoming session in the programming area let us open the command prompt so I am just increasing the font size. So now I am switching over to the Go demo folder. So inside the Go demo folder, what I am going to do, I am simply creating a file which is called as wait. So wait demo. So I am naming the file as wait demo.go. Here, as usual, I am going to add package main. Here, I am going to import FMT as usual then here it is the function main so what we are going to have we are going to have a go routine now so i am going to name my go routine as display this is an another function a go routine is nothing but one more function we are creating okay so what i am going to display here so just i am going to print format dot print ln okay so format dot print ln inside start start again format dot print land end so i have a go routine with the two words one is start and another one is end as simple as this so from inside main what we usually do we used to call the code as go display so this is how we used to call every time right so here here after this what we will print format dot print land exiting main go routine so this is a simpler code we have seen in previous sections right exiting main go routine right so this code is as simple as this now what we are going to see is we are going to make a call for the display code in a loop that is we are going to create for example five calls for the display go routine so what i am planning here is this go display for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus so this is the for loop i am designing here so inside this for loop what i am going to do i am just invoking the go routine for five times so what we are doing here i am just passing the value i to the go routine so in the display go routine declaration i am going to receive the value i so we already know how to pass the value and receiving it right so it is an integer value i am passing here so i am mentioning it here so for each and every start i am going to mention the integer value here so start of i similarly it should end i as well so there is a very simple call for every go routine it needs to be executed so if we compile the code if we compile the code if you see if you see 
exiting main go routine nothing is being called because there is no sleep statement it is being behaved like this so now what i am going to do i am going to add a sleep statement to this code so what i need to do import it is a time package i need to import in order to use the sleep statement so time dot sleep one into time dot second so one second it needs to sleep so if i run the code you see here start four end four start five end five so every time an integer value is being invoked and it is started and start end like that it is being function but if you run each and every time the order will be different first time you see the count four is being executed and ex and exited out similarly here it is two three four three one five the order is very very much random so it is up to the go run time to decide the order so it deals with the operating system to identify the thread scheduling the go routine scheduling it is not at all going to be constant across every go routine call so in order to maintain the go routines executed in a group it must be called in a different order we cannot ensure the order in which the go routines or threads executed it is not only exclusively for go language even java the thread scheduling is up to the operating system so the virtual machine or the programming language runtime deals with the operating system to identify the order for each and every go routine invocation this is not in our control now what we are going to do is we are going to keep main in a waiting state we are going to use a wait group for this all five go routine calls so we are calling go routines for five times so we are going to make main wait for five times now what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the sleep statement from here i'm going to introduce the sleep in our go routine so wherever we put it is up to us so no matter time dot sleep to into time dot second it is as simple as this the same code i am writing now if you run the code it is not executing so within the display call within the go routine call only it is getting sleeped now i am going to introduce a new concept here which is called as a wait group so first i am going to declare a wait group variable g stands for group i am just mentioning so this wait group is available inside a package called sync so sync is a package which contains a wait group for us so variable g sync dot wait group so this is how we need to import a wait group so i am just declaring a wait group here now i am going to add a wait group for each and every go routine here it's in the loop we are creating five go routine invocations that's why within the same group i am going to create five wait group entries in order to create a wait group entry there is a function called g that is wait group object dot add this function will create a wait group entry for us so what i am going to do i am going to add one entry here so for every call a value will be inserted which is nothing but one so what it will do is it will create create a wait group entry for every go routine invocation so what does it means it will create five wait group entries until the go routine gets completed right so now we have created go routines and it is being executed here what i am going to do is i am going to keep the wait group should block the code until the main gets exited until all the go routines are completed so how to block the code it needs to block it using the wait statement so this is a blocking call this is a blocking call to ensure main go routine waits until all the go routines completed this is what very much important if i compile this code and run it so see here it is a deadlock state because it is keep on waiting there is no when it notify the wait group that is the go routine calls are completed that's why it is claiming deadlock here when the go compiler comes to this particular line it keeps on waiting for the all the go routines to complete but we are not at all completing the go routines that means we are not at all informing the wait group that it is been completed we keep on adding values to the go 
so uh, sorry we are keep on adding value to the weight group that means the weight group is piled up with five values what we need to do for each and every go routine completion the weight group needs to remove the one value that means five go routine executions on completed all the five values assigned to the weight group will be removed then only the weight statement will uh, will consider all the go routines are completed so how we will come to know a go routine is completed so if it comes to the last line the go routine is considered as completed so how come it will reach the last line so here when it reaches the last line of the display go routine what we will do is we need to make sure that the weight group is completed so g dot done this is the statement we need to use in order to specify g dot done this is the statement we need to use in order to specify yeah specify the weight group about the completion of a go routine so for each and every time when the display go routine is invoked a done statement is invoked at the last this will notify the weight group that this particular go routine has completed then only for each and every call the five calls of go routines will notify the weight group five times at the end of the go routines then only the weight statement will understand so that all the weight group all the weight groups are completed that means all the go routines are completed with relevant to the weight group entries based on that only the block created on the main routine will be released by the weight group okay so here i am calling it as g dot done but we don't have any reference to the variable g so what i am going to do i am going to pass the g to the go routine so here what we need to do if i am passing the variable g and i am receiving it as a parameter here like g right so i am going to name it as sync dot weight group so it is as simple as this so it is a very simple code if you see here what will happen for each and every call again the same problem will be happening deadlock so what happens here for each and every call a new weight group is being called a new weight group is being passed here but what we need is the same weight group needs to be passed across the calls in order to make it i need to pass the address not the value it should be passed as a pointer so if then only it will consider as a weight group the same weight group is being shared across the go routine calls now if i compile and execute the code so it go keeps on invoking and it it notifies the main go routine using the wait statement that all the wait group threads all the go routine calls relevant to the corresponding wait group are completed so now in our code we are not at all using any sleep in the main thread to wait for the go routines to complete we are not at all using any channels to wait until the go routines are complete we are using a special feature called a wait group so the wait group will keep on adding values whenever there is a go routine is getting invoked so we are popping up the values or we are clearing the values whenever the go routine is completed so that we pass the reference of the weight group to the go routine so the go routine will take control over the weight group and inform the weight group that this particular go routine is getting completed so as and when as and when a go routine is completed the value added to the weight group will be removed so once all the values inside the weight group removed then the weight group considers that the main routine can proceed that is all the go routine calls are completed the main go routine is now free to proceed that's why the reason if you execute execute the code after doing the done statement each and for each and every add a done will be invoked so the loop creates five go routine calls so we are having so we are having five go routine calls inside the loop so are all the five dot go routine calls a weight group is created within the weight group five values will be added each and every time so every value added here is being closed with a done statement 
added here so every value added must be notified with a done statement which will specify the go routine has been completed its process this will help the weight group to maintain the order of go routines or the life cycle of go routines or the execution of go routines with relevant to the main routine this is what very much important when dealing with multiple threads or multiple go routines in our application so as we discussed earlier weight groups are nothing but group of values which are used to control or which are used to maintain the state of go routine calls so it will keep the main go routine blocked until all the other go routines have been completed so we can add values to the weight group and we can notify a value has been completed using a done statement to the weight group so there is a function weight inside the weight group which will be blocking the main go routine so these are all the highlights we should know about weight groups let us see in the next video session if you have any comments or suggestions or any doubts please put them in the comment section given below i will definitely reply to your answer or any question or any suggestions please click the subscribe button don't forget to click the bell button this will help you to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded by me let us catch up in a next video